Town have on Berry at this point in time. They're nine points behind Berry. Win those three games in hand. They're level on points with the side second in the division. If they win this game, all they have to do is win two of those games in hand, and they're level on points with the side second in the division. So, Sieve. Position in midfield as ball gets out to Combra on the far right hand side. Just to nip it inside again. Combra takes the Ooh. shot. It's lost by the goalkeeper. And it's nicked in by the debutants. Joe Duckworth. Four minutes on the clock. And he has his first Berry goal. And it's Berry 1, Will and Shaw no. Yeah, it's definitely not something that Greg Cole's going to want to see again. The veteran goalkeeper, 37 years uh, of age, should be doing so much better than that. I mean, it's not like he's um, just, you know, a little bit unfortunate with that. The ball's just been fizzed in by Comber, and he's just dropped it to the feet of Joe Duckworth inside. Well, three yards out from his own goal, but that's what, you know, that's what Dave McNabb's brought in, the new guy, for. Yes, he's not playing in that central number nine position, but it oh, provides about his goals. Yeah, provides someone who knows where the back of the net is. Going to be a Barry throw in. Swindon have taken the lead against Salford at the Peninsula Stadium as Barry looks to get through again. Here, Combeer with a flag up for offside. Out towards Butterworth. Here's Moore. Now to Gaz Pete in acres of space on the left hand side. Pete finds Benito Low. Benito Low, left corner of the penalty area. He's looking to get past the banquer, and that's and a roll through to Greg Hall. He did. And um, he also uh, refereed a, a game for Berry Air. Says Benito Low's hacked down there by Lee Wilshaw. Referee's got a decision to make here. I think it's just going yeah. to be yellow. I think. Real. Uh, Go to Will Place at the next break in play here as Gaz Peets is uh, nearly brought down there by the Wivenshaw number nine kiss Metz, and that's well recorded. Oh, late challenge there by Wood. I'd be surprised if he doesn't go into the book. Yeah, yeah he's going to go into the book as well. Turn past Jepson there, but doesn't get past him as Scarisbrick finds oh. Combo Benito low on side. Just couldn't quite get the control on it there. Oh. Perkinson surely to about an update and Rams bottom is the opportunity for Benito Low to get forward, crossed into Good the box ball. towards Duckworth with the header and that's just wide. I don't mind to do so in the first place. <laughs> True as Pete is over this free kick into the area it goes, header there from Moore and that's over the bar as Moore picks that up at the back. He finds Comba. <laughs> Does well, gets past Sonogo. Looks to get past the second player in Wilshaw, but that's cleared. Sheridan looking to. Yeah, it was good there. And Scarisbrick beats Sheridan. Scarisbrick looking to make the turn, it's cleared. Now Comba. Comba with a shot! Oh, just wide! Fallen there on the far side, on the near side rather, is Pete. Gets that high into the area, looking for the head of Moore, but well, that's. Out of play. And that is half time after what was a uh, great start to the half from the debutants, Joe Duckworth. Obviously, Wyvern Shaw will be disappointed with um, what they saw. I said no changes from either side, so the Berry side is Harry Wright in goal. Um, uh, the, the statement um, uh, goes on to, to talk about his time um, at the club and simply go out to his family. Is Berry get a second there? And it is Butterworth, uh, sorry, Duckworth with his again. second goal of the afternoon. And inside a minute of the second half, Berry have the second. Yeah, definitely. And obviously. It's awful, uh, the statement that you will read in the fact that we had to cut it off as well is probably a little bit worse, but a perfect start to the half. And again, I said in the first half, Duckworth not exactly done 
a whole lot in terms of the build-up play and getting on the ball but when he is on the ball he seems to be a bit lethal and whilst it was again good running from Sky's Brook putting a bit of pressure forcing Sheridan to go long but it's a good ball out to Sonoga on this left hand side now put under a lot of pressure by Butterworth and the cross goes wide onto the top of Harry Wright's goal. Ball's played down on the right hand side towards Skarsbrick. It's going to fall for uh, for Butterworth. Plays the ball into the box, and Duckworth's going to get on the end of it, but it's just runs off of him and out for a goal kick. Tries to find Pete, but ends up having to go backwards to Reeves. It's clipped in towards Comber, and Comber. Bit of an unorthodox effort from Connor Comber as he didn't really head the ball, but it's almost like you know when when the ball's played from a goal kick and you jump with your back towards the ball just to try and put a defender off. Reeves under a bit of pressure, but does really well to keep the ball away from Musa. Pete plays the ball over towards Duckworth. That's a great first touch by Skyersbrick towards Duckworth. Played into a low in the box. It's good to Skyersbrick. Skyersbrick's got plenty of room. Strike! Go! And it's into the far corner from Andy Scarrowsbrick. And Berry have a third. Andy Scarrowsbrick has his third goal in five games for Berry. And well, we were saying that last week Berry were made to rue their missed chances at 2 0. They've taken one here. It's Berry three, Withenshaw Town nil, Adam Clark. Yeah, it's a great strike from the man nicknamed or the man they call Andy Scarris <laughs> I don't know where the nickname bit came from there Nick but Andy um, he's uh, no he's he's been a great addition and great to to see him on the the score sheet as well obviously picked up um, a goal last week with with the ball coming out on this near side puts the ball into the box it's uh, a loose clearance and uh, Sonogo has to deal with it doesn't in the end it's going to be a berry corner bit of an unorthodox it's going to fall to Moore who tries to clip a ball in and he goes down the suspect won and the referee points penalty. to the spot it is a penalty poor challenge and play plenty of penalties here most recently against Lillerland steps up right footed and is saved well, Gregory Hall done well and... Oh, no, ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. The Tyler de Press comes to consult with his liner on the near side. Could there be a little bit of encroachment, encroachment. maybe from Greg Hall? I think that's what Andy Scarisbrick is trying to claim. As it was a good save regardless. You know, it wasn't a bad penalty from Benito Lowe. It wasn't the corner. I don't think maybe if Hall did get over to it, he might have done so illegally. The referee gives a penalty. It's going to be retaken. <laughs> Well, low again, a step up, right footed, strikes is saved again. <laughs> and, uh, the few games that he's managed, Barry. Yeah, I think that's probably the case. There's a common uh, opportunity there. He's brought down. It's out centrally. Chance to put the ones in the back of the net. He goes low, it hits the wall, plays the ball out to Duckworth. Duckworth strikes towards oh! the back of the Oh, that's unbelievable. And what a way to mark your debut with a hat trick. Questions as to whether that was a cross or a shot. Duckworth won't mind. He'll probably say it was a shot. And in the end, he has his third. Berry have their fourth. This is very four with a shot down nil. Well, <laughs> I think uh, welcome to Gig Lane, Joe Duckworth. We talked about his scoring prowess before the game, and, and um, I think he's proved us um, exactly right. We go around things, but it's going to break to Briggs. Briggs at the edge of the area. Briggs has Duckworth on his left, strikes, and it's deflected. Handball shout, not 100% sure about that one. I don't you care for more information. We've got about five minutes left in the 90 here. It's very four, with a short town nil. As uh, with the show, have a chance with Uche on this. Left-hand side, he's into the box, he's clipped it towards the back post, but 
It doesn't really seem like uh, many of the Wilmshaw players have any interest in attacking that one. Bank were to drive into the very half. He's pulled back there by Smith and, well, as we were talking about, Barry potentially going the whole game without a card. Two have come at once. Additional six. As a uh, goal kick is taken by Harry Wright. It's 4-0 to Barry. Ball's flicked on by Briggs. Gilboy's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. It's Lewis Gilboy! It's a good save. He'll fall back out to Gilboy at the edge of the area, who strikes and it's blocked by a Banqua. Yeah, he's, he's moving a bit gingerly. Doyle goes to Rowney as the others resume around Gigway. Jepson. And the referee blows his whistle. And a perfect response from last week's late defeat against Chatterton. Against a, a solid Withenshaw Town side throughout the season, Berry of made them look very ordinary just like they did against Battleswick Town. It's four goals with no reply. Final score here at Gig Lane is very four with a short town nil.